And Chris Merwin doesn't, hey, you can do this. Because this is Air Window's Golden Slew. Now you might ask, what is a Golden Slew? Well, I've been working on this stuff um, in some recent days. This is a process that I like to use to sort of chill out the brightness on things like uh, the bus of a console emulation. I'm kind of looking forward to giving that a try. Here's the thing. I have been spending a bunch of weeks improving the quality and the performance of my slew behavior, and I can show that to you by showing you it a beat against the previous, which was just slew, air window slew, like so. If I turn on air window slew, that's doing a very similar thing, but golden slew is taking that process and it is doing it in a series of stages. What we're doing is taking the series of stages and slew clipping over and over again, getting smaller because every time you slew clip, you're controlling where the previous sample can, technical details. Don't mind my technical details for a minute. Um, Here's the deal. This is slew. And this is golden slew. Because golden slew is repeatedly clipping at increasingly small ratios, specifically increasingly small golden ratio proportions. It's starting with a clip, and then it's clipping uh, 0.6 as much, and then 0.6 as much as that. Here, let me jump over to a different section. So, same deal. This is the same setting. And we've got vocals. That's me. And you can hear it kind of poking out through the clip. But if we go with golden clip, it's flattening it out a lot more. This does not sound the same as this. And that's because Golden Clip, by doing its slew clipping at increasingly small amounts to get down to that very bassy sound, is controlling the way that it gets to that point. And one thing we can do is jump back over to our little loop here. Now that I no longer have to have these at exactly the same setting, what I can do is show you what Golden Clip does as you zoom it in. Here we have the plugin. And we can smush it real good like this. Or even more, beware of turning it all the way down to zero. This is a sort of slew clip, but it could also be used as part of a modular synth system, similarly to the original one, I believe, where if you're using this plugin in like VCB Rack, you can use it as a sample and hold. So it will hold DC levels. If you put it literally to zero, you can no longer slew, and so you have to stay at the same base level. Whereas if we take it to a deep subsonic bass level, but not so much that it's completely holding it still, we have a degree of um, 
motion still happening here. And this is not going to stick stuff with DC energy in there. But if I zip it over to one, it's going to hold DC energy. So that is a bit of a warning because some of these are a little bit like power tools. You need to not use that as, for instance, a fade a filter down to zero because it's a slew clipper. So it's going to be a filter down to whatever voltage you're at. However, the point So here's a little snippet of this where the hi-hat is going. We've also got a bit of guitar and we've got a synthesizer in here. If we use this golden slew, what we can do is take the top that is already smashing the highs really aggressively. Using this filter, using, it's not really a filter, it's a clipper. Using this to control the sound of a, a console emulation means setting it in such a way that you're not actually hearing it darkening the hats. For instance, we've got so much hat going on here. Maybe I can shorten it a little bit. Now we can hear the hat going constantly. With that, you can kind of hear it doing something. This is without, and then I turn it on. That's what you'd want to be using for a console emulation or something like that. Something where you're going to a final mix because it's a very loud hat. And I'll tell you, the thing about this is it's a track that I was doing with uh, some of my music streams because I've started those up this July. And it's coming along pretty well, although I may say this ended up being a bit of a weird tune because it's a, a bit heavy and synthetic and synthesized and a bunch of weird stuff so go figure but um we can do the same thing with uh, inviting, inciting, so with that we've got inviting, vocals deciding, and if i turn golden slew on inviting, this It smooths out the edge on those voices. You have... Here, let me... Make this real dark for a moment. We've switched over to a drum recording. You now have this as something that you can fool with. Oh, hey, we just went back to literally the same setting as before, so let's alternate between this and the original slew again. So, original slew set to this setting sounds kind of like this. But if we go to golden slew, with the increasing slew clipping, kind of jockeying it into position, and that is not the final outcome. This, this is not its final form, but this has its own uses. Golden Slew makes it sound like this, which is a lot more like your kind of vintage sound, which is why I couldn't really, like, the original Slew exists in uh, the channel plugins, which are very lightweight. But this is going into full-on console emulations, 
so it needs to sound a lot sort of warmer let's brighten it up again we can turn this off much brighter but this is how we get certain kinds of sounds to happen this is how we get sounds to have more of a retro feel to them and this is experiment again not its final form but it's worth having it's a particular character and again you can Actually, I can't adjust that one without resetting my audio. Um, you can make this as bright as you want it. This is a raw drum sound in 96K. And we're making the attacks stop being right up front. So I'll go back to that compared to with it off, it's right out front, but then also notice the snare sits back, which might be useful in certain cases. Just small adjustments do a lot here. And the thing to remember about this, this isn't a filter making the highs sit back this is slew clipping. So low level sounds get to still be bright as anything. So it, it glues the sound. It sits it back in a useful way. And you can use this on drum tracks. You can use this on whatever. You heard it on uh, Final Mix. Just, uh, yeah, enjoy it. Hopefully you will enjoy it more than I'm enjoying some things. Some of the reasons why the uh, song that I was doing. Inviting, delighting, inviting, inviting, inciting, deriding, dividing, deciding, has it come to this? Well, personal stuff goes on. Like I've said, um, a personal friend of mine, uh, went down on drugs and overdosed and died a couple of weeks ago. And uh, some other folks I care about are struggling a bit. And I'm having to uh, walk very carefully and make sure that I'm doing stuff. And you, you don't want to get caught up in a wave of just people going off. It's not great. So I'm expressing some of my stress through doing my weird music, but um, expanding it outwards and it's really useful in that way I expect to continue doing probably Thursdays or whatever the music streams where I can just run with my stuff I have already been asked about these things and these things are uh, my arrangement cards that I've been building uh, so I'll tell you about that. You'll see them in use, but I have to get them finished before I can like make them into a product and sell them. I might need to make them into a product and sell them for another reason, because you're seeing me now because I am uploading uh, big old videos over my DSL, which is costing me the earth, but the internet service provider that I'm using is threatening to take away that DSL because it is running over copper lines and they don't want to be doing that, but they don't have a lot of control over this town. There's another company that sort of owns uh, the fiber connections for this town and it's a little messy and you can't necessarily get stuff to work and I can't really go to my senator. As, as wonderful as Bernie Sanders, my senator, is, he's busy. I did not get flooded out like Montpelier or whatever. So there's a bunch of people who are busy. So what I need to do is get busy getting serious network connectivity in here before it gets taken away and I turn into a pumpkin and I have to stop uploading. So I'm going to be doubling down. I've also said 
as far as other things like that, um, if I get a blue, sky, a blue sky invite, I'll start alerting people as to when I go live and do the recordings of these things. Like the uh, previous week's one, although it didn't have voices, was tracked, mixed, and uploaded in a day. That was all Thursday before last Thursday. This last one, there was more stuff that I could do with it and probably more that I can do with what I recorded. So it took Thursday and Friday to get finished. And uh, these tend to be fairly large uploads. The plugin videos are always like 30 gigs. You don't really have to deal with the full scale of that, but getting YouTube to work properly involves uploading pretty high resolution files. So I need to change my internet service provider and I am already working on that. And if you thought the getting the Bricosti reverb, which you were hearing on that track, and which I'm already beginning to study, if you thought the Bricosti reverb was expensive, try getting like fiber internet access in a place that doesn't have any. So I might be forced to dive into these arrangement cards that I'm beginning to put into use just as a fundraising measure. We'll see. In any case, it's not going to be dependent upon that. That just might end up um, bailing me out after life gangs up on me a little bit and beats me up. So it's buckle down time. I've got a lot of work to do. I'm reaching out for help with the internet thing and I feel like it should be possible to get that to work. If I fully get that to work, it'll be that much easier to do um, live streams and upload more videos. Because if I can make a elaborate video and then it doesn't take four hours to upload it, I'll be able to do more. So it's all good, like this should work. It just remains to be seen because there's a lot that I have to do in order to get all this to work. So wish me luck. Hope you like the new track. That was the thing that was posted to my YouTube just before this video. You can go and listen to it if you like. It's probably linked in the, it'll be linked in the video. And I'll talk to you later. And see you folks on Monday for the coding stream where I will figure out something else to do plugin wise. Bye bye.